If you look into the character development and the emotional conflict and the issues that are being reflected in our society through those stories, maybe not. Because most of us read and watch these stories for our own enjoyment in our leisure time. But see, the thing is, stories aren't just from the Iliad with its epic tale, to the Free Kingdoms and its political intrigue, and even Star Wars with their fantastical adventures. These stories are a window into our human nature because they reflect back reality. On a more personal level, these stories show us the obstacles that these characters face and the emotional developments that they are sometimes even forced to go through in order to adapt to their changing lives. Most of you have watched Kung Fu Panda. Our main character, Po, is chosen as a dragon warrior. But he doesn't fit into the expectation of being this dragon warrior and this martial artist that's supposed to stand above all else. Because everyone else believes that he's just a fat panda. And Poe, because everyone else is saying that, he's going to think he's a fat panda. And so he starts to hate himself for not being the dragon warrior that everyone else wants him to be. But during some point in the story, he begins to see value in himself. He begins to see his self-worth. And we buy into that because we, the viewers, the audience, we see ourselves in Paul because he reflects our deepest insecurities and who we are. And a young child with issues with his self confidence can watch this movie and maybe begin to love himself. Maybe he can begin to embrace himself for all of his strengths and his flaws. Because there is no secret in the age. It's just you. And only after we emphasize with these characters, we begin to see a bigger picture of the soul. In Avatar the Last Bender, yeah, the Last Airbender, we see the horrors of war, tragedy, loss. We see generational trauma that is a result. And the genocide of the Aramaeans is eerily familiar to our problems today, especially during the Jewish concentration camps in World War II. We personally haven't experienced these atrocities because you, the audience, live in a fairly privileged, privileged society and we have been accustomed to peace, and we can't really connect with these people in different situations because we've never been in their shoes before. Which is how these stories help bridge the gap between them and us. And we can see that in stories such as Anne Frank's diary and the book Thief. Because as we read the book, as we watch those movies, we see their pain, their heartbreak. We see what's going through their minds and how their daily lives are being affected by those rewards. They're afraid of being captured, of falling asleep, because they might not survive until the next day. They might not open their eyes. And we feel for them. We understand them. And we empathize. These stories help shape us as human beings. And so at the end of the day, after we finish reading the story and come back to our reality, we think to ourselves, what if we were in their shoes? What would have happened? And how can we prevent those tragedies from ever happening again? Because we are emotional creatures. Humans feel. And so, ladies and gentlemen, 
the next time you watch a movie or read a book. Please, look at the characters, the narrative, and the overarching plot, and apply those issues into our reality. Because only then can we cultivate empathy in our society. Thank you.